Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing a follow up to a video that I did back in April and that video as you can see by what we have on the screen right now is the soft RAM retrospective video. Now this was a video that I uploaded and it's actually performed extremely well. A lot of you guys have been watching this video. I want to give a huge thank you to the over 600,000 people who uh, who watched this video. And this was just such a, a very unique, very crazy story. If you haven't seen it, I'd recommend checking it out. It'll be up in the cards. Uh, this was a program that was released back in 1995 that claimed to double your RAM through nothing but a software program. And people actually fell for this scam. They sold about 700,000 copies of this program. And obviously the program did absolutely nothing because as I'm sure we all know, you have to, if you want to get more RAM for your computer, you have to go out and buy more RAM. You cannot upgrade or increase the amount of uh, physical RAM that your computer has through software. Now what you can do is compress memory, which a lot of modern operating systems do today, which is what this program was claiming to do. But the way they were advertising it was they were kind of saying that it was the same thing as going out and buying more RAM, which it's obviously not. So it just didn't do anything that it claimed to. In fact, it didn't even attempt to do any sort of memory compression. The program literally did nothing but sit on your computer and take up more memory by running in the background, which is pretty, which is pretty hilarious but yes this was a total scam uh, we also got some comments on this video from a few of you guys who said what happens if you run this on Windows 10 will this program work on Windows 10 which is kind of a theme for this channel we do a lot of these tech experiments where we try to run old software on Windows 10 and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing with SoftRAM today both of the versions of SoftRAM actually we've got SoftRAM for Windows 3.1 the original version which was just called SoftRAM and we have SoftRAM 95 these are both obviously 16-bit programs and we are using a 64-bit uh, copy of Windows 10 here this is actually the same VM that I ran uh, Netscape in these two versions, or actually all these versions of uh, Netscape Navigator uh, that I did in this video. It'll be up in the cards if you want to check that out. So we are going to have to use Wine VDM or OTVDM, our old friend, which I've got uh, right here. We'll always need a, a copy of this for these videos. So we're going to start off with the first, the initial release of software, which is again for Windows 3.1. We can try to run this setup executable. Obviously, it's going to say it cannot run on this PC because it is a 16-bit uh, program. So we have OTVDM here. We're going to uh, drag this over to here, and this will execute the program with OTVDM. So hopefully, this will allow us to uh, to run the program. And there we go. Check that out. SoftRAM setup program version 1.03. Congratulations on purchasing SoftRAM. Oh boy, so yes, this is the setup program. Look at this logo here. There's something that I didn't point out in the original video. This logo looks like this. it was something made in like MS Paint. They just drew like soft RAM. Oh, that's just that's just beautiful. So here it is. Welcome to the soft RAM setup program. We're gonna click on continue. It's gonna decompress soft RAM. Ooh, it's doing so so fancy. So it has detected 15,104 kilobytes of extended RAM. Okay, and there we go. So there's the README file. Uh, setup has successfully installed software. You must restart Windows, so we'll return to Windows. I don't believe it actually gives you, yeah, so it doesn't give you the option to restart, so you have to just manually restart. Honestly, I, I don't think it's going to really do much because this program doesn't do anything at all, so I don't really think it's going to matter if we restart or not, but we'll just restart just so we get that wonderful splash screen, uh, or we'll see if we get the splash screen when we uh, log back into Windows. All right, so we've logged in. Let's see if we get that wonderful splash screen. I don't know if it would, I believe the program will be in the startup folder. It's probably not gonna be able to execute because it's, a, it's again a 16-bit program. This is the start program here. I believe that displays the splash screen. So let's try to launch this. So yeah, there it is, the powered by soft RAM splash screen. And like I said in the original video, this program doesn't do, well, just like the, the full program, it doesn't do anything aside from just displaying a splash screen that says your, your computer is powered by soft RAM. It serves no purpose other than just like telling you that, oh yeah, your computer's powered by software, so you can feel good about yourself. But the full program doesn't do anything either, as I discussed in the original video. So we're gonna launch it here, and we'll see if it loads. And I believe it, uh, okay, but we do have an icon. I believe this is the, is this the icon? Yeah, this is the software right here. So it's launched. 
although it's not displaying anything. So that's interesting. So we can open up Task Manager. We'll see if it's running in the background here. It should be running under the, yeah, so it's, it's running under the OTVDM process. That's how OTVDM behaves. So we're not gonna have a, a software executable in here. So if I were to end OTVDM, it'll kill like both the OTVDM application and software because it, it's running through OTVDM. So I believe, although now File Explorer is glitching out here. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, I literally cannot. Okay, let's close all windows. I don't think that the program uh, didn't install properly. I think it was able, because like you saw in the setup, the setup finished, it was able to install software improperly. It didn't give us any errors or anything like that. Now, just to show you what happens, I can put this into compatibility mode and I can choose to run it as an administrator. But again, because we're running this through OTVDM, none of these compatibility settings are going to take effect because we're not running this program natively. So just to show you what happens, even though I've selected run this program as an administrator, so I can run it with OTVDM and you'll notice that it will not prompt me with a UAC prompt. So we can come back to this later on in the video. I do wanna take a look at software M95. Uh, we can try to like reinstall the original version of software and see if that solves the problem. Uh, but I highly doubt that's going to be the case because it, it was able to install successfully. So here is software M95. We're going to launch the setup executable with OTVDM. And there we go, preparing software M95 setup. Setup has determined that you're running Windows NT. Software M95 can't be installed on this operating system. Okay, so there are these two other, uh, like there's a version, you know, there's a Win31 folder, a Win95 folder. All of this is extracted from a floppy disk, by the way. From what I understand, software 95 came with a version for Windows 3.1 and a version for Windows 95. So there is this readme document as well, which will tell you basically like when you're ready to upgrade, you have to disable, so like, like this isn't going to do anything. Like it tells you that you have to disable software from Windows from the Windows 3.1 software control panel. So if you were running the older version of software and you were going to install software 95 on Windows 3.1, or if you were running the original version of software on Windows 95, which you can do, it's just going to tell you that you have to disable it, which again, like it's going to do anything. I mean, this program doesn't do anything regardless of what you have, how you configure it. So I don't really think that disabling the program would would make any difference. Maybe it, it won't allow you to install because the process is running in the background. That's the only thing that I can think of. So we'll just try to launch these. So we'll go into the Win31 folder here, Setup 1, we'll launch this with OTBDM. So we get that same congratulations. So this looks like the original, yeah. So this is the design of the setup is exactly the same. And we do get the same error message though. It says setup has determined that you're running Windows NT. And we can do the same with Win95. We can launch this here. And this will get the different wizard here, the install shield wizard. And uh, this will say the same thing. Yes, yeah, setup has determined that you're running Windows NT. So it appears that the uh, the Windows 95 version of software, both of these copies, the Windows 3.1 version and the Windows 95 version, both cannot run because it is detecting that we're running a Windows NT version. We can try to run this setup file again for the original version of software but like i said i really don't think it's going to change anything so we'll just try it just to see if maybe it wasn't able to install properly so we'll choose a different location as well we'll install to see software m2 so here is our new installation of software and just like i thought you can see that the file size for this executable file is exactly the same as the original installation so it's not anything like there weren't any problems during the installation or there are and we just can't really figure out what they are because it's not giving us any sort of error message but i don't think that is the case because all the files are here so we can try to run this with otvdm and it will do the same thing so again it will uh display the icon in the taskbar here but the program itself like the interface is not showing up so to answer the question is it possible to run softram and softram 95 on windows 10 well, the answer is technically yes for the original version. We were able to get it to install. We were able to launch the little splash screen program, which does nothing but display that powered by SoftRAM uh, screen when you start up your, or when you log into Windows. We were able to technically launch 
the soft RAM program itself. It is technically running right now, but it just doesn't show anything. I mean, this is it right here. It's running through OTVDM. OTVDM is not displaying any error messages. So it, it is running. It just doesn't work properly, but that doesn't really matter because this program, as you guys, if you saw the original video, know, does not do anything whatsoever aside from take up more memory on your system by running in the background and showing you like some cool gauges. That's literally all it does. There is no patent pending compression technology that they have, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week, multiple times per week on this channel. And as always, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.